Influences on my work would probably be from Japanese uh, block prints and cartoons. Most of them utilize a line image and then a space filled in. And that's essentially what happens with my work. This is where the, the wood burnt. What my work's about has a lot to do with the integration of two-dimensional imagery with three-dimensional form. And you can really fool people if you get the perspective right. A lot of woods, by bleaching them and then dyeing them, you can get some pretty intense color. And they really stop being wood and end up looking like whatever you want them to. I'll do a lot of drawing right on the wood. Then it gets directly turned into the image. And that's one of the reasons why I got involved in this process is that it really uh, allowed me to be much more spontaneous. A lot of people just say, well, they, they look like a lot like their puzzles. And a lot of it has to do because of the grain direction that I want to use. And I leave a little valley in between the, the quarter inch thick wood and I put epoxy into that and sand it smooth and then stain it. In Kimono to Go, there's essentially just two kinds of woods. There's um, the cabinet part that's made out of Sitka spruce, and it's very linear. Uh, it really lends itself to uh, establishing perspective. The Kimono itself is made out of a Pacific Northwest maple. It's a relatively soft wood, but it has a lot of interesting grain configuration. And um, by staining it, bleaching and staining it, it would look a lot like the silk. It was one of the first pieces where I sort of let go of trying to be too realistic. The, the fact that the cabinet part of it, the part that's made out of Sitka spruce, has some vague uh, perspective to it. And then the kimono is essentially shown as flat on. And so you're sort of combining two different types of perspective within the one piece, making it a little bit more surreal. You can do some pretty outrageous things visually. They look three-dimensional and you feel like maybe they could exist, but they can't. It freed me up from the problem of gravity. They're just boards floating in space. <laughs> <laughs>